Welcome to the build guide for the wise man from Broken Toad, Black Sun Miniatures and the Jim Henson Company. So, once you've washed your miniature in warm soapy water, um, just have a look, see if there's any mold lines on the model and go around and just test fit a few things. Now, obviously the arms are pretty self-explanatory as to how they go in, but the section of mustache is not quite so easy. Uh, it fits perfectly, however, it is a little bit tricky to figure out which way it fits onto the face. So there is a better way of doing it. As you can see there, it's uh, not, not easy to figure out. However, the best way of doing it is to attach it to the hand, which is obviously holding a clump of moustache as well. So it slots in on the inside of the hand like that. So you just want a little bit of glue on that flat, flat section and the indent that sits on the palm. And there we go. So once that's in place, you can see it sort of automatically locates the rest of the moustache and sits in place perfectly. Don't glue that in just yet though. Let's test fit the other side of the moustache. And what we'll do is we'll glue the hand to the arm and put it in as one complete piece. So whether you assemble things as one complete piece or in separate sections depends on how much uh, what they call play is in the joint and in this one there isn't a lot at all when you fit the two connections together they won't move around so the less sort of uh, degree of error in there from from building it the easier it is to stick several large sections together and to fit them all as one like that Obviously, everything can only go in one way. So we'll just pop some glue on the inside of the arm and we'll get that in place. There we go, that just sort of slides up and locks into place. Just hold it there for a couple of seconds and the super glue will do its job. So we'll test fit the other arm now. Just make sure it's secure on both sides and there's no huge gaps or anything like that. pop some glue on the inside of this one and get that stuck down. Okay, so now we can get the other side of the mustache in place and that's a fairly simple fit. We just need to pop a little bit of glue on the indentations that are on the body. So there are uh, some on the body itself, some on the face, inside of the nose, and on some of the fabric and sort of parchment pieces. So we'll just pop a little bit of glue onto each of those. So we've got several points which are glued 
which will ensure uh, a much stronger, much stronger connection. Right, so next we'll deal with the hand and the donations box. There is a little piece of uh, resin gate on the inside of the hand just next to the locating peg. So just trim that off. As always, please be careful when using a sharp instrument such as a scalpel. And if you are younger, please seek adult supervision. So just trim that off and then give it a test fit. There's two points of connection on this. You can use both if you want to. There's a little indent on the moustache as well where part of the hand sits. So if you want it even more secure, you can pop a little bit of glue on there as well. But I don't think there's any real need for that. So just some on the locating peg and it'll be absolutely fine. So now that's the wise bun almost done. Well, there's a few more pieces to do. We have his hat, which sits on top of there. But before we glue that down, we need to attach the feathers. So attaching the feathers, uh, you need to clean them up with a toothbrush first and just make sure that you scrape them down. Be careful because they are quite fragile. So just make sure you take your time. Don't rush it. And if there's any very small pieces of uh, resin on there that, that shouldn't be there, just support it with your finger and gently slice them off with a scalpel. Obviously be careful of your fingers. If you need to put it on a desk to do it instead, then do that. But it should look like that when you're done. So for positioning the feathers, you may want to pause it right here because I've done it in a spiral pattern. I've laid the feathers out how they should go on the back of the head. You can see here, the dots go in a spiral. Okay. And each feather and how they've been positioned, I've laid out in the same spiral. So pause it. Have a look at the shape and style of the feathers so you can get them in the right place. But once you've figured out which ones go where, and hopefully this video will help, get a drop of super glue onto a piece of card uh, or a piece of plastic because you don't want to be pouring super glue from the bottle straight onto the feathers. But if you get some tweezers, dip the end of the feathers in and then gently place them into the uh, indents on the back of the head in order going round in the spiral. It takes a bit of time but the effect is very much worth it. So if you just go through and try and get it as close as you can to how it looks in the film such as this. Once that's done, we can glue the hat onto the rest of the uh, figure. So a little drop of super glue on the bottom and the connection with the hat and the rest of the figure is, is excellent. And there we go. So there's one final piece for the wise man and that is his glasses. Now, there are a couple of indents on the top of his head, just above his eyebrows, where we need to pop a little bit of super glue. And then we can place the glasses on. So, indent on the left and right, and two little holes where the arms of the glasses 
gently fit in. So tweezers and patience for this part. But they will sit in the indents quite nicely and just position them with your thumbs if you need to. But there we go, all done. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this has been useful. This has been the build guide for the wise man from Broken Toad, Black Sun Miniatures, and the Jim Henson Company. Bye bye. <laughs>